Hey, art friends, we're so glad you're with us again. What are we drawing today? A bouquet. Yeah, a bouquet of flowers. That's a big group of flowers that you hold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us. You have a marker and some paper. You ready to start? Yeah. Got your marker? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Hads, first we're going to start by drawing little daisies, little simple flowers. We're going to draw three of them. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a circle. So let's draw a little circle. It's kind of in the middle of our paper, but I drew it off to the left slightly. Right here? Yeah, that's a good spot. Perfect. Yes. Now, yeah. now let's draw some petals. So we're going to draw big U-shapes that come out of our flower. And we're going to go all the way around the whole flower until we get to the very first petal that we drew. And we want to try and make sure all the petals are the same size. Yeah, you're doing great. It's okay, we're practicing, right? And yeah. the most important thing is? To have fun. Yes, to have fun. <laughs> and one last petal, you did it. Now, let's draw little lines inside each petal. Straight lines that come out from the center and go right down the middle of the petal. Now, we're going to repeat those same steps for two more daisies. And we're going to draw it right next to this one. So when we draw the petals, so there's the circle, you can draw it right there. We're going to use overlapping. What does that mean? It means like it goes behind. Yes, it means that this flower is going to be behind the first flower we drew. Mm -hmm. So when we draw the petals, watch this, I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to repeat all that same, the same steps that we did over here. We're going to draw big petals that are the same size. But watch, when we get to... This petal, look, we're going to run into it, and then we stop. So we don't draw through it. We're going to imagine it going behind the petal, and then keep going. Is that cool? Yeah. And there we go. We're going to stop, and then come back down. That's fun, huh? Yeah. All right, let me see you do it. I really like that you did it on that one petal. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw those center lines right down the middle of each petal. And we may go too fast for some of our art friends, right? Yeah. What can they do? Pause the video. Yes, you can always pa pause the video. <laughs> you paused. Pa oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to draw one more daisy. I'm going to draw it down here. Now if you draw your daisy further away, then you might not need to overlap the petals. Mm -hmm. But if you draw the center really close to it, then you may need to do more overlapping. So let's draw your daisy right about there. Okay. Now let's draw the petals. So on mine, I'm gonna do a lot of overlapping on this one. And then on the bottom petals, they probably won't need any overlapping, right? Because mm -hmm. there's nothing. Or maybe and then that one. This one's gonna overlap, yes. Cool, let me see you do yours. Okay. All right, now that last step, let's add those little lines right down the middle of each petal. All right, we did it. We drew our three daisies. Now let's draw a couple tulips. Mm -hmm. Now the tulips, we're gonna draw, we're first gonna start by drawing a U-shape. Now this one I'm gonna draw over here so that we don't need any overlapping. So I'm gonna draw a U, and I'm drawing it kinda off to the side. So you could draw it right there. Or, let's draw it over here. Let's do it right there. Okay. And that's the fun part also about this lesson, is you could add these flowers anywhere on your paper. You don't have to put them in the exact same spot we do. Mm-hmm. Okay, now, we're gonna draw one line that comes down, curves, and connects to the other side. So you could start there, and then connect it. Good, and then on this side, we're gonna connect. Yes. And then in the middle, let's draw an upside down V. Yeah, you did it. Now we're gonna repeat those same steps, but now we could use overlapping. So watch this one. I'm gonna draw it up here. So I'm gonna draw a U. It's gonna go behind the pedal, come down here, and come out. And you really, you could draw yours right in the middle. Let's do that. So let's start there, draw it down to the pedal. Yes, imagine it going behind the pedal, coming out, and then back up. 
Now overlapping really is tricky, mm -hmm. but if you want to keep this lesson a lot easier, you can leave the overlapping off. Just yeah. space your flowers out so you don't need to overlap. Let's do that connect. So draw from one side down to the other. Then let's connect the other petal to the middle and then an upside down V. All right, I'm gonna add one more over here and it's gonna overlap this one petal. You could draw yours over here and you could do it without overlapping if you want to. Mm, oh, it's a tiny, tiny one. one, I like it. <laughs> All right, and then let's connect the petal. So let's draw one petal. Good, and then I'm gonna draw the other one, connect it to the middle. And then that upside down V right in the middle of, yes, you did it. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna add a really small flower and this one's gonna be purple when we color it. So I'm gonna draw a very small center. Okay, and then on this one, I'm just gonna do little bumps that go around the outside. Okay. That don't connect to the middle. <laughs> Good job! You did it! Now we're going to draw three more of these flowers and you can put them anywhere in your bouquet. But we're going to fast forward this part because we're going to repeat the same steps. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. What are our flowers missing? Stems. Yeah, they're missing stems. Now this part could be a little tricky. Now we're going to draw one line that comes down from this flower. So we start right here and we can draw it down here. Okay. Good. Okay, now we can imagine another one coming up from here. So let's draw a line that comes, connects. So we're gonna draw the stem for this one. And it's gonna, we're gonna imagine it coming down and connecting down here. So you can imagine go through the flower coming out and then coming down to the bottom. All right, now we're gonna do that for each of our flowers. So even the small one, watch this one. I'm gonna draw this one that comes out and connects down. Is that cool? Yeah. And we can do it for over here. And we want all of the stems to come down close together. Okay. So this one you could draw and it comes down to here. Yes, I like it. And then this one, let's draw and have it come down to there. Good, all right, now this part we're gonna fast forward, but we're gonna draw the stems for all of the flowers, okay? Okay. That looks so pretty, Adley. It also looks like it's just growing out of the ground, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, now our bouquet is missing a bunch of leaves. Yeah. Cause we've got a lot of flowers in here, so let's draw some leaves. Now I'm just gonna draw a zigzag line. Some of the zigzags are gonna be big, some of them will be small, and then we're gonna connect it into the stems down here at the bottom. So we can go around, I'm gonna add little zigzags all the way around, and this is going to be for our leaves. Okay. Cool? Yeah. All right, we finished drawing our bouquet, and yours turned out amazing, except it's gonna look even better once we do what? Color it. Yeah, color it. Let's put our markers off to the side. We're gonna use our oil pastels to color our flowers. We're gonna fast forward this part, but you guys can pause it at the end to match the same color. Yeah. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it right now. prettiest looking bouquet I've ever seen. Did you have fun? Yeah. Now I also want to mention that the stems and the overlapping was probably the trickiest part of this lesson. Yeah. I hope you didn't get frustrated because you just try your best, remember to have fun, and you can even leave the overlapping off. Just space your flowers out further so that you don't have to overlap them. And then also the stems, that was really tricky. You could leave that off and just draw them down here at the bottom. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your bouquets of flowers with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye. Let's hold our flowers. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Sorry.